and there's all these games that are kind of played in terms of allowing accelerated depreciation, bonus depreciation, 179 type of depreciation that are designed to possibly stimulate the economy in certain uh, areas and whatnot. So we'll talk more about depreciation in uh, a future presentation. So we've got the form 7205, Energy Efficient Commercial Building Deduction. So this form and its separate instructions are used to claim the Section 179D deduction for, for qualifying energy efficient commercial building expenses that are now reported on new 27B uh, of Schedule C Form uh, 1040. So you can see the Form 7205 and its instructions for more information related to Form 7205, Energy Efficient Commercial Building Deduction. Commercial Clean Vehicle Credit. So business uh, that buy a qualified commercial clean vehicle may qualify for a clean vehicle tax credit. So obviously they keep on playing with these credits that are supposed to be designed towards the green uh, agenda and so on and so forth, which could have, you know, I'm dubious about the the effects of them because I think really technology uh, is going to be the thing that solves uh, our particular problems, not, you know, basically uh, tax credits and, and, and whatnot. And once the technology happens, then I think the economy and capitalism will fix it. But in any case, we have these credits attempting to uh, incent incentivize it here. Uh, some, some of the stuff that was passed in a kind of a deceptive way in a bill a while ago called the Inflation Reduction Act, which seemed to have a lot of this kind of uh, stuff in it. But there it is. You can see Form 8936 and its instructions for more information. Business meal expense. So there was a temporary 100% deduction for business meal expense, which has expired. So the business meal deduction reverts back to the previous 50% allowable deduction beginning January 1st, 2023. So this is one that's that's probably more common to all businesses because they might have those meals deductions, which gets into the same questions that we have always happens, which is, should something be meals or should it be travel in categorization? And if it's meals, then how much can we deduct from it? Is it personal? Is it business? Is it 50% deduction or full deduction? So see meals and lodging later for more information. So we'll probably touch on that later. 